Talking about the Texans in terms of the box office with the Texans, they, I mean, obviously they're a much, 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 much sexier team now than they were a year ago. No question about that. And this offseason has made them even sexier. And that trade yesterday, at least in the moment, made them feel like, okay, now this is like big time. They're getting a big-name wide receiver. They I mean, they were already making a lot of aggressive moves. This one is one where you go, wow. Everybody stood up and took notice yesterday with this move. Um, I don't know, three primetime games for them, Seth, for the Texans? If I put the number at two that and a half? That's fair enough. Yeah, I think that's fair. Yeah. That's, uh, how many did they have last year? Zero. Well, the one, the one they flexed, <laughs> the, the one they flexed at the end of the year, once you knew they were worthy of being in that spot against the Colts, they flexed yeah. that Saturday night game against the Colts, but they were scheduled to have zero. They were scheduled to have zero. Not only did they have zero, they didn't even play any 330 games. <laughs> they played all noon games. It was, the whole all, it was season. all noon, all, noon all the time. All noon games. I can't even remember what time was the playoff game. It was the early game, right? It was an afternoon game. Yeah, it was, it was, it was a Texan it was our, slot. It was Saturday. It was Saturday. Our slot, the yeah. Saturday afternoon playoff yep, slot. Yep. That's our prime time, baby. That's it. Let's That's see. it. The Chiefs are a team. So if you wanna, if you wanna have aspirations, yeah. The Chiefs have been pretty good, Sean. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you're new to the NFL, people. But the Chiefs have been pretty good. Look it up. Past few Look years. it up. Yeah. Seth's right. It's not fake. But news. they're, you know, they're a small, media market team. Kansas City's not a gigantic city. They're not like a traditional powerhouse TV ratings grabber the way the Cowboys or the Giants or somebody like that <laughs> sure. is the, the Packers. Last year they had they had scheduled 12 national TV appearances. So like that's. That's the power of championships, but also a quarterback, I think. Um, obviously, the Texans can't do anything about the championships yeah. before the season begins. I think the C.J. Stroud effect, like, that's a big pull. Um, having a quarterback and having a potentially explosive offense is very much a pull. And I think, like, Tank Dell is made for television, too. Yeah. So I, I, I would say, I, if you set the over, did you set it at two and a half? I set it at two and a half for prime time. I, I think the 12 yeah. you're talking about includes, like, the late window on Sunday, right? Like, they're the national games. Yeah, I guess, yeah, so national TV, the national TV Yeah, because I yeah. think there's a limit on the number of prime time games you can play. I think the yeah. total's like, five is the max. But, yeah, prime yeah. time. Prime time, I put it two and a half. Prime time, two and a half. Do we get an afternoon game? I'd actually more – do the Texans get an afternoon game? Like a three, 325 – Tony late Romo, Jim game. Nance, late afternoon yeah. game on a Sunday. I think the they do. The national TV sh slot, basically. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I, would I, would say they, I would say they get two of them next year. Two of those? Okay, okay. Yeah. And then some primetime games maybe as well, a couple yeah. like a Sunday night and a Monday night maybe along the way as well. Um, you know what's interesting? I, um, my feeling all along has been that the Texans, in a way, probably benefited from the schedule last year that they had all those new, other than the Colts game in the regular season, every game was a noon Sunday kick. So you're able to get into a, the same routine every week if you're a routine-driven person, that that's a yeah. big deal. It was interesting. When I was, um, not during the conversation I had with C.J. Stroud at that charity event, but when we were sitting in the green room just chit-chatting and, and, and uh, breaking bread and eating lunch, um, I brought that up to him. I said, hey, the schedule next year, I brought up how much more difficult the schedule is in terms of opponents. And I said, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be way more like adjustment for you guys probably because you're going to play some primetime games. Um, you could play the Cowboys on Thanksgiving, which surprised him a little bit. Like, he didn't, he didn't even look at the schedule that, that closely yet. He's like, yeah. we could, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and and it, it, so that was interesting to me. But, but he said, what he said to me was, man, I, he didn't like the noon Sunday every week thing. Like, he, he's like, man, I played at Ohio State. Like, we were playing yeah. night games. We were playing yeah. 3.30 games. He's like, whatever – they he liked the change up of things more so than the monot he it seemed more monotonous to him to do that this is the thing and like some players have differing opinions on this but there is something about sunday becoming too routine like you want to be sure that it feels special i always wondered like man it makes total and perfect sense that look like the texans have you have, your game day locker room is your Every day of the week, locker room, everything's super comfortable. That's your environment. Theoretically, it should give you a home field advantage. I did always wonder if maybe in some ways, though, it takes away from, like, being that dialed in and focused on just Sunday. Yeah. That, like, when you go to, like, there's something to be said for, like, I, I always wondered if, like, maybe we, we should just, like, use that third locker room that they have on game day um, as, the, as, as your locker room because – yeah, like there's a danger of when everything gets too routine, when you're playing at noon on every Sunday, when your home games are like, oh, I'm just going to, going to the same locker room I go to every day. It's kind of like, 
It's like telling your wife you're going out to dinner, and uh, all that means is that you've gotten takeout. Still me in my sloppy sweats. Uh, <laughs> still me. Maybe forgot to brush my teeth this morning, whatever. But we're going out to dinner. Yeah. <laughs> Do you feel special? That's Am right. I going to get some? Is this, are we going to have magical lovemaking because of this? Good analogy, man. Yeah. It's yeah. a good analogy. Um, so I, well, yeah. Wait, did Brandy say something to you? No. <laughs> so, <there's> a... <laughs> I'll tell you later. <laughs> Um, Is she complaining about that? <laughs> <All right. laughs> no, no, you're good. She, no, she's actually she's she's very complimentary of the whole thing. Actually, um, so um, I still I just thought that was uh, an interesting thing from CJ. Like he he really did not. He seemed to really not. He good. hated the. And I don't even think it was the fact that if you're playing on noon Sunday, it means you probably weren't every week. It means you weren't a very good team. I don't I don't think he liked the monotony of it. So and, and also and honestly too, like it's. There, I, I was shocked. When I went from playing on the East Coast time zone to playing Central, I didn't expect it to be any different whatsoever. Like, what's the big deal between playing at 1 o'clock or noon? Man, like, I, I, I'm a pretty routine-driven person. It was different. It was like just, just getting ready to go, like, for something that's going to be a huge, physically painful at times event that yeah. you get super amped up for, um, that extra hour makes a difference. So, likewise... There is something about those late afternoon or evening games where you just kind of sit and you just you're trying to keep yourself calm and not think too much about the game and everything. And then it's it is it's w whenever it's nationally televised, you've got all your family and friends watching. That the ones who don't have Sunday NFL ticket, like this is their chance to watch you play. Like it's a, it almost. Like, you can almost feel that pressure. It's a positive pressure, but you feel that positive pressure of having your family and friends watching, the ones who might not get to watch you all that often.